In this tutorial, I'm going to show you 10 super useful shortcuts you can use to improve your efficiency with the Linux terminal. And the first shortcut is maybe the simplest one, but the most useful is actually tab. Okay, so if, for example, I do ls, I can see I have a music folder. If I want to go to my music folder, I can do cd and then just type m and then press tab. And this is going to autocomplete whatever I have here on the command line. So it can be for navigating inside the file system. It can be also if I want to do sudo apt update, I can just put up d and then tab update. And then, well, if I have more than one option, for example, if I just put sudo apt up and I press tab, you can see that there is nothing. But if I press tab twice, I have all the possible options because here up can be update or upgrade. So here I have to choose the next letter. So if I want to upgrade, I put G and then tab upgrade. If I want to update, I put D tab. Okay. The same for, for example, if I want to go to documents, I have documents and download. So if I do DO and press tab twice, I have all the options and then I put C and I have documents. And then you can see I can press tab again. And here I have the auto completion because I just have one folder. Okay, so super useful, the tab shortcut. Then the next shortcut is actually to use the up and down arrow keys, okay, from uh, your keyboard. And this is going to go to the most recent history. Okay, so that were the comments that I have run before. So if you want to uh, go to a previous command, you just use the arrows and then you press enter to execute the command. Then still working with the history of the, the command lines you used in the terminal, you can use the Ctrl and R shortcut, which is going to search in reverse, okay, from the most recent history. So you're going to type something. Let's say I want to type grep, and it's going to find the latest command that matches this pattern, okay, with grep. So if I were to use that command, I just press Enter, okay. And I can come back to any uh, command that was used recently like that. So if you have a big, big command, then that's super useful. For example, I can try again, Control R, let's say CD space, and you can see I can go to my bash scripts folder just by searching for CD space because that was the latest command with CD space. Then the next shortcut is actually on how to copy from the terminal. Okay, so let's say open a text editor okay, and I want to copy something from the terminal to the text editor. If you use Control C like you would use in the text editor or in any IDE or in a web browser, well, that's not going to work. Control C is something else. You have to use Control Shift and C. So let's say I want to copy that. I select this with the mouse and I do Control Shift and C okay, and then I can paste it there with Control V, okay, because that's a different shortcut. Okay, now let's say I want to just take that text, hello, I can just do Control C in the text document, and then if I want to paste it inside the terminal, I can do Control Shift and V, and that's going to paste it, okay? So Control Shift and C to copy, Control Shift and V to paste on the terminal. The next shortcut is actually Control C. Okay, so Control C on the terminal is not going to copy something. It's going to try to stop anything that you are running currently. So for example, here I have a bash script. In that bash script, I simply just wait, okay? So I'm going to run that bash script. And well, it's running, you can see. And if I press Control C, so I have to do that a little bit faster. If I press Control C now, you can see here the script run until the end. And here the script was stopped before the end. Let's say you use the Ctrl R shortcut to uh, use the reverse search. You can do Ctrl C and that's going to come back to your terminal. And then the next shortcuts are actually how to navigate just inside the line you are currently writing in, okay, in uh, your terminal. So let's say I'm going to go back using the arrow keys. I'm going to go back to that command, for example. Now let's say I want to go to the beginning of the command the beginning of the line, well, you can use the arrows, okay, but that's quite long. And if it's uh, longer here until there, you're gonna uh, spend a long time going to the beginning. Instead, you can do Control A 
And with Control A, you directly go to the beginning of the line. Okay, from anywhere, Control A, you go to the beginning. Then if you want to go to the end of the line, you just do Control E. Okay, Control A, Control E. From anywhere, Control E, you go to the end of the line. And now what if you want to remove completely this line or to remove a part of this line? Well, let's go to the middle here and let's press Ctrl K. With Ctrl K, it's going to remove everything from the cursor to the end of the line. Okay, so let me uh, go back again to, for example, that. You go anywhere, you do Ctrl K and that's going to remove everything. So if you are at the beginning of the line and you do Ctrl K, it's going to remove all the line. And now you have the same, but to remove everything before the cursor. So I just go back here, I do Ctrl U, and that's going to remove everything before the cursor, as you can see here. So if you are, let's go um, to that command, for example, if you are at the end of the line and you do Ctrl U, that's going to remove everything. So to recap on those four new commands, for example, you do Ctrl A to go to the beginning, Ctrl E to go to the end, and then control, so if you do control U here, that's going to remove the complete line. Now, if you do control A, for example, to go to the beginning and control K, that's also going to remove the entire line. And with those shortcuts, you are going to be more productive with the terminal. If you liked this video, subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future. Also, check out my online courses so you can learn Linux command line step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. Thank you for watching. See you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.